Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Uh, today we're racing the Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Uh, second time this season. First time we're season we're at night. Today we're running at day. And 45 cars. And actually might be more than that. But uh, the 33 of Monster is going to start pull here today. Uh, playoff situation is interesting, I'll say. The... Uh, 63 of Sumdan, after his performance last week, was able to uh, get the pole and still finish pretty good, especially ahead of everyone else, which you need to do. He is now locked into the Champ 4, so just no matter what happens today, uh, Sumdan will make his first ever Championship 4 appearance. And then uh, Saber Fox is currently um, 35 to the good, so he just needs to finish his race, and I think he's in pretty good shape. Um, almost the same deal for Brock Nelson. Um, he will have to put some defense together, though. He's only 23 uh, points to good. And the really the really only real battle here is between these next three on battle lists. The uh, 83 Thunder 24 fan. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, Thunder 24 fan. He is the least fairing of the uh, round of eight. He has the least wins, the least top tens, least laps led, least top fives. And um, still holding on. Doesn't even have. He's actually the only driver in the championship uh, round of eight with no wins as well. So still holding on. Seven to the good. Maybe he can make championship four after today. But he's had a pretty solid uh, few races. Solid. Nothing really too crazy great that would uh, make him championship tier. But solid is enough to put him where he's at right now. And then Nimrod, uh, who DNF last week, was looking good. Um, after last week, uh, coming into last week, but unfortunately did not finish last week due to some um, pileups that happened after the yellow came out um, at Atlanta. But uh, they'll have a chance to rebound, I think, or seven to the, seven below this uh, big track. We'll see what happens. And the only, the only one I think is realistically possible to be changed from here or from then on is uh, Zig Zagoon. He's 11 of the bad. Don't count him out, but Space Guard or Spring Winter, he is going to have to clutch pretty crazy good to even have a shot. He is 28-2 below the cut line, and Frank Chilton is, I'll be honest, he is pretty much locked out. There is, there is very few to no circumstances that would lead him to being in the championship for yeah, it's still a pretty strong season, but just the deficit is very high. I just don't think he can recover that, especially start 31st here, and he can't go up and lead laps to start off the race. So uh, still have a good good season so far for him. Uh, hopefully end off strong and maybe get a finish, good finish next week at Carsland Super Speedway. But we got Dark X Rain booth with us today. You got any initial thoughts? Yep, we here at Coco Super Speedway is a three miler and it has been confirmed that one driver has clinched a championship four spot as for the others they're going to have to either stay out of trouble hopefully if they have any teammates they can help them but mostly stay out of trouble and I don't know how Frank is going to his way to the championship, but he's had a long way to do it. But it's not implausible, but it could be possible. But he has to at least lead every single lap and maybe a win. But if he does get involved in a wreck, I will say he will be out. Same from Brandon Nelson. If he stays out of trouble, he could get he could get one of those top uh top top four spots. He's currently as long uh, he doesn't wreck as well. As for we already know that Sunday's already locked in, so he has no pressure. As I think the command already started, yep, command's been given, but yeah, Brock Nelson 23 to the good, so he's kind of on defense. We'll see what uh, strategy they play from that team. As uh, at the moment, they're the only uh, I want to say the only uh, teamless driver in the champ four or round of eight right now. That so far, would Monster be correct. Matthews. 
Yep, so Monster and Matthew Hill leaves the front row. See, these guys can do for today's race. They could be a factor in deciding which one of these other drivers clinch themselves to the playoffs or not. Yep, you also got to keep in mind the other drivers are still looking for a win to end off their year. So, no doubt, as we see the little, well, big red Camaro goes into pit road. Go down the front stretch as we wait for the flag man. My favorite part of the series. And we are green at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Still in the same column as we see. This a gun pulls out. They're going to try to make it his best to get up to the front. As when Monster is leading. That was six. He's got to gain up a lot of ground quick. And he's, he's, very, he's very aware of what situation he's in right now. Oh, man. He goes to the bottom as Monster decides to take the high lane. And here comes the number 46. He's going to go try to make it three wide. And then Moo Man blocks. Yeah, these guys were... For this type of track, you got to be very careful to make your, to make your moves. Yep. With one bad block, you can either take yourself out or the whole field. As we see Moon Man, he's going to take it in to the lead. As we see the number four, is going to follow. Zig Zagoon right now is our top playoff driver as he's in the third spot. Uh, like we were saying, he worked his way up quick. Green at Rolling on lap two. There's a lot of really? racing left to go, but any lap sled he gets here, which mm, he's not waiting for that. He's going to uh, make it three wide for the lead as we're now three by three. Maybe a couple of rows deep. Yep. And Although they, they do kind of separate. I think yeah. will take the lead. Every lap he leads is making him a little closer. He led five laps last week. Did very impressive. Unfortunately, got caught up in a wreck. Put him in this position where he's currently below the cut line by 11 points. Is there four wide there? That is not going to work. Oh, oh, and there's the big one. That is be the caution at the 57 goes surfing on top of the monster. That is and the big one here on at Coca-Cola. Oh, big one at Coca-Cola. There. The question and it looks is, like... oh, Space Guy involved. And that, oh, that's I'm... not good for... Yeah, that prop... is not good for Space Guy. Big one on lap three. Here at Coca-Cola. Let's see what happened there. We've seen there were four wide coming into turn one. Uh, let's with see. Two of the Coca-Cola cars in the field were four wide. So let's see what happened here. It looks like... There was just no room for this. Byron Webb was coming in. Moon Man wasn't really clear. LJ wasn't clear. And then uh, it looks like they just kind of crowded together too much. Melinda Jones got in the uh, Melinda Jones got in the 04 slightly. And it was just downhill the, from the here. The Sprite car. And the three Let's also see. checked up in the back into the 55. Yeah, it looked like it was two different incidents. It, it was. That That's precisely oh, the case. This, this was horrible. Like, like the 57 literally goes surfing. And just he like really on the 22, the the 33, yeah, that's almost half the field. And Frank Chilton, of course, involved. Frank is in it. That's yeah, he's eliminated at this point. Yeah, then we have someone and... on that roof sliding that, backwards. That is, so we have Styles. Matthew here, we have Monster, even Styles, Moo Man, Riley Gorse, Bull Sitter's done, and that's only or... a few. That we see at the moment. The big one, and just like the spring race, Sam and Oskin will even not finish. Sam and in it. We'll have a Brandon horrible Nelson. crash uh, in both the spring and the Ooh. fall races. Looks like Gorse is on his roof as well, and I think Sammy missed. Yeah, there's like so many drivers involved in this. This list is going to be long. And Brock Nelson didn't get a whole lot of damage there. So he's still good, and not to mention all of his, most of his competition just got involved in that wreck, including um, Thunder 24 fans. So question is now, if Mimra involved? No, she. Well, actually, she does have some side damage, but less than what Thunder 24 fan has. We'll have to see if they're able to repair that damage on pit road here. And it looks like they're able to repair most of it, uh, especially on the left side, anyway. And the I biggest, I think the biggest thing here was who was leading at the line. Was it Zig Zagoon? It was. So Zig Zagoon is pulling himself out of that hole very quickly here. 
with these laps led here now. This is crucial for Zig Zagoon. Coming in 11 behind, and now they're trying to clutch. Now let's take a look at our DNF list. This is expected to be very long, and I think we're... Okay, so we know at least about half the field. Man. Half the field is done for today. Um, Not only... Okay. So, uh, Space Guide, uh, his... Championship four bid, four bid is not going to happen. Uh, Mark Leonard's likely done. Our uh, outside pole sitter Matthew Hill's done. Eric Monaco's done. Riley Gorse is done. Uh, Tim Oskin's done. Uh, 97s Kyler Sustray is done. Miller's done, and unfortunately for the 83 of Thunder 24 fan, uh, it is as is 06 is leading laps here. It is very possible and very likely that the 83 of Thunder 24 fan, his uh, playoffs are done. LJ Toledo is done. Last week's winner, Moon Man, done. Melinda Jones, Sandy Messi, Pulse Sitter, Monster, Jet 07, the 55 of Ryan Cole, Ian Stiles, who was on his roof coming into that wreck, Potato Boy, and Alex Tanker, and... Caden Williams. So, most of the mo the entire, almost the entire field. At least done. what twenty, I don't know, like 15, 20 drivers, and then we went on lap, and that was on lap. Lap number, number three. three. Yeah, lap, lap three was a single-handed worst. Yeah, that I don't even know if we're gonna see any more wrecks after a wreck that hum ginormous. I'd be stunned. Uh, so well, that also brings up the question of damaged vehicle. Nimrod was involved. I don't think they're going to be too far off pace, dependent on damage. Saber Fox still in. Brock Nelson is still in. Frank Chilton actually is uh, still in, but he is so far back, there is almost no chance for him to recover. He's uh, like two laps Yeah, I think he's a couple laps down as well. Or no, he's still in the lead lap, but regardless, uh, he's just too far back. There's no chance of him making it in. Anyway, I was going green this time. The 46, Craig Pockers. Keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't jump the start. And uh, keep in mind that 71 of Batotna still looking for their first top five of the season in that 71 car as they're currently the only driver in the series with no top fives this season. Even uh, even the uh, drivers that are part-time have already beat him in that department as he's been full-time all year. Yeah, he's looking at finishes on a good note. Yep. We'll keep an eye on those cars in the back if we need to hand out any disqualifications or manual DNFs of sort. So it's officially now that it is only up to eight laps. Frank is eliminated. Yep. It the is, wreck didn't help. Yeah, there, it is confirmed now that Frank Chilton and Space Guide are now eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, we still have some guys bat duking it out, and I think the 46 is good. But uh, also oh, yeah. the uh, 83 is likely out, but the race ain't over yet. Yeah. There's still some there's guys that can... There's a lot more players that got damage as well in that wreck. Yeah, there's still some guys that can DNF in the 06. Uh, I think he only led a few laps there, and it wouldn't be enough as he is negative 11 coming in, but race is still not over yet. We'll see what happens. We'll slowly keep an eye on the cars in the back because we're going to come to 10 to go here. We'll see if we have any more yellows. But uh, Craig Pockers, 46, he's looking to do something. Uh, I don't think anyone's done an NCCRS yet, and that's to uh, have a team sweep of at least all four of the drivers on road tracing to get a win. Craig Pockers has definitely picked up in these last few races. He's had a very abysmal start to the season. Well, he got the right on his does, bumper uh, in there. I do, I do wonder, do. has Batonha led any laps in this? Or, no, he has. He did it in Indianapolis. Yeah, he did. Because, um, I don't know, was it on the last lap that his engine blew up? That he could have had a win, but Dang, he, that, he at least led one lap. That 37. As we good. see the 37. He is way off pace. He went a lap, he went a lap down in one lap. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's way off pace. Granted, he's going 200 miles an hour in the corners, but he's still, that's abysmal to these 236 mile an hour lap times. 
Shred, don't count him out either. He's still looking for his first win, uh, despite being the season points champion. Only driver uh, in his group uh, was used to be a team, but a team on the left. The remnants of Ronnie Racing, uh, all of them have a win except for uh, this guy right here of Shred. Stuffy Terror won a couple weeks ago at Watkins Glen, and Brock Nelson won at Martinsville. Whereas uh, Shred actually has quite a few second place finishes this season. I think most of anybody uh, have, don't have the ability to check that right now, but definitely something to look for. Well, that would have been dodgy for what else would have passed. But he yep. will get the lead. And the 66. And uh, I think the 66 will be our final manual DNF, I think. We had a battle for the lead between Chard and Batana. And these guys are really going at it. They're going to number 20. He's going to try to be a factor in this as well. Yep, Victor and Nunez. Sundan, who already is locked in, he's not a highest playoff driver. That's you want to make an exclamation point into the play, into the battle? Well, championship four, I should say. Yep. So him and Zigzag Gunn is having a nice battle for the top playoff drivers. Yep, it's not but a question. The, is, the, uh, the battle for that last spot is currently between Nimrod and Zigzagoon. And I will say, it's kind of close. Oh boy. It is, Actually, I mean, it's a seven point. Well, since Zigzagoon led a couple of laps, wouldn't it definitely be by five points? I think we can say Zigzagoon led five there, but Nimrod's currently out of the draft and has no chance of catching these guys. Uh, it's just going to be really difficult for anything to go their way unless they get another yellow because I think they have a fast enough car to compete. They just got mired up in some cars that weren't fast enough and weren't able to bank off of it. It's not only that, I don't see... I think 24 NASCAR fan, I don't see him as well. Yeah, he's actually, he actually he actually DNF'd. Uh, he did not finish. He got the DNF. Nimrod's okay. going to make a pass there, a very crucial pass. So this draft back here may try to catch up, but they're not quite making the pace. A little bit of engine damage, that's probably... Well, I don't think Nimrod's got any engine damage, it's just some cosmetic. Yeah. As we see the 40s... This is a nice little battle for the lead, though. Yeah, it's kind of down between uh, about 7-8 cars. Yep, there's a... A lot of manufacturers. Chevy, Ford, Dodge, Toyota, Pontiac. We're all up here battling for the lead. Yep. And so far, Clang Progress is... It's their leader. So as it stands, Nimrod would have to finish... In front of Zigzagoon to make it in. Because Zigzagoon led some laps there. That's Nimrod's only chance right now. Because I think that's where that last spot's going to be the battle at. Because uh, Thunder 24 fans no longer in the race. And it's unlikely we have any more yellows. Granted, we might. And I didn't turn on uh, our uh, green white checker either, so. I'm hoping we don't have any more. I don't feel like pausing right now to turn it on. I'm thinking I'm going to risk it. Craig Pockers looking, oh. looking to get the first win to do the gentleman's sweep, I guess you could say, for the Roach Racing team and the NCCRS get a, all four drivers to win. Boy, this trap for, with this type of track to draft his key. Speaking of Zigzagoon, he might even try to win this play. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad strat, honestly. He is, it would make him the mo tie for the most winningest driver uh, actually of the season with Sabre Fox if he's able to clinch it here, if he's able to pull it off. And also put him right into champ four. Unfortunately, Nimrod just not enough speed, but Nimrod having a great season nonetheless. Yay, hey, you know, one of our best seasons so far. 100%. Hey, Three to go this time by. Oh, wow, this is... This is intense. So far, no one have, wasn't... Well, they're not able to get past progress, but... They're not lack of trying, at least. Eh... Uh, the Jeremy Fraser is too much time. Yep. That's winding down. Pockers holds on to the lead. 
Seth Lugum's in a position to lock himself into Championship 4. It looks like the 37. Still yeah, the I think track. they I think they have one of those pit road issues where they qualified too bad and I can't do anything about it. But uh well he didn't really affect the race first place so. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit. Much. And then we got two to our tandem here, two laps to go. Uh Ooh, Tottenham, exactly keep in mind. But Tottenham still looking for that first top 5 of the season. Running third right now, with two yeah, laps to go. He is. It was separate for a little bit, but now they're slowly getting back together. But Tyler's going to take the bottom, trying to get battle for second. So Zigzagoon definitely does leads. But can he keep it into turn three and four? Because that two core tandem did not last too long. The white flag should be coming out now. Yep, one lap to go, and Zigzagoon leads another lap, pretty much solidifying Ooh, yep. their championship for a bit at this point. Is Nimrod still a decent run for that car, but not running high enough on the standings? But Tottenham Ooh. hasn't gotten a single top five this year. Almost won at Indianapolis. Can they clutch oh, here? He's, he's, and they got three more before, hungry drivers behind him who have been just as significant. Uh, question is, can he hold it? Because he does have Shard that is also looking for another win. First win, actually. And some Dan looking oh. to uh, tie for the most wins. But nope, I not enough. So here we go. Can you believe it? Batana wins at Coca-Cola Super Speedway yep, for his first career win. And also, uh, making every driver in the field to have at least one top five. But uh, I think it's safe to say uh, our championship four is set. Uh, points uh, points are a thing, but I just I think we have enough information given to us here that our championship four is set. Unfortunately, Nimrod, a valiant effort, the same as uh, Frank Chilton, will come home with a fairly decent 16th place after just not having enough there at the end uh, for that car. They gave it the best shot, but it wasn't enough to make it into the championship four. Nope. Well, it was a good season for him, though. I'll give him that. I think it is... Uh, hold on, where Brock Nelson... Hold on, this... Well, Brock Nelson would have to have DNF'd to not make it. Nah, he finished 22nd, so Brock Nelson's in. So your championship four are... I think it's safe to say we can confirm it here. Um, that's uh, some Dan... Uh, Locked in last week. Uh, Saber Fox, um, pretty much locked in. Uh, I don't think uh, anyone else so, did well enough to really change that. Um, and then Brock Nelson's locked in to the championship four, and Zig Zagoon are your championship four the guys that got eliminated. Are Thunder Twenty Four fan, Nimrod, Space Guide, and Frank Chilton. But uh, been a great season. Uh, we crown a champion next week at Carsland Super Speedway. Uh, it's going to be something. We're going to do our normal lap count because I think it fared well for our spring race and I think we'll fare well for our fall, our fall race. And hopefully we get a deserving champion. Um, every every round of four, com or championship four competitor has at least one win. In fact... Um, there's only one that has less than two, and that is Brock Nelson. So, it's going to be a very interesting battle for that championship for next week at Cars and Super Speedway. As for me, Dark X Rain, and this is Zach103TV signing off.